So today we'll uh, discuss uh, an, imp an important uh, feature for multivariate functions, which consists on how to determine the minimum and uh, the maximum uh, values of uh, a given multivariate uh, function. So this is one of the main objective of this course to optimize a function, to get a minimum and the maximum value of uh, a function. So we'll see how it works in this, uh, in this lecture. Uh, so minimum and maximum values are also called extreme values. So extreme values mean, means mean, uh, either minimum or uh, uh, maximum are extreme values. For a function with uh, one variable, to uh, find the extreme values, its extreme values, uh, we just calculate the derivative, and when the derivative uh, equals zero, we say that uh, x uh, is uh, an uh, extreme value, so x is uh, a uh, uh, maximum or a minimum uh, for the function. So where f prime uh, equals zero. This is when we have a function of uh, one variable only. But we know that in this course, um, we are studying a multivariate function. We have several variables, not only one. So uh, this is a graph of a, um, a function of two variables. So the graph is a surface in 3D. And uh, we see here some uh, extreme, um, extreme values. So this is... Uh, maximum, this is a maximum here, and uh, here we have uh, some uh, uh, minimum values here. So a function can have uh, several uh, extreme values, of course. In this case, we have two maximum. So any maximum is a local maximum, and one of them is called the absolute maximum. Function. I have question. Yes, please. We have here two maximum values, and the largest one is called the absolute maximum. The absolute maximum is the highest value achieved by the function. We can also have local maximums in uh, some uh, uh, neighborhood. Okay, same thing for the minimum values. We have several local minimums. And the smallest value is called the absolute minimum. We have several local minimums and one absolute minimum, which is the lowest value achieved by the function on the whole, on the whole uh, domain. So this is the meaning of uh, a maximum and uh, a minimum, which are the extreme values achieved by uh, a given function. Analytically now, we say that the function, the given function f of two variables has a local minimum at a given point a, b. It's a maximum. What does it mean? It means that f a, b is greater than f of x, y for any x, y close to a, b. So the highest, the largest value of f is achieved at the point a b this is a local uh, maximum same way f has a local minimum at a b a b is a local minimum for f when f of a b is uh, the smallest value uh, for the function f in this uh, in a neighborhood of uh, point a b and uh, if this inequality uh, is valid for um, all points in the domain of F, then this will be uh, the absolute maximum. Absolute minimum. Uh, instead of uh, X, Y in the neighborhood of A, B, we say when X, Y is in the domain of uh, F. Okay? When this inequality holds for any elements in the domain, then this means this is the absolute minimum. Okay, this is the lowest value of the function 
in the whole domain, okay? And local minimum when it's only in a, a small neighborhood, not the whole domain. This is the difference between absolute maximum and uh, um, local maximum, okay? Absolute maximum can be uh, positive or negative, huh? So how the question, how to determine extreme values? Okay, how to determine all local minimum and maximum for a, a given function, a multivariate function. So the first important theorem for in this uh, lecture says that uh, if we have a local maximum or minimum at a point A, B, then the first derivative a equals zero at a b first partial derivative with respect to x and respect to y let's fx at a b equals zero and f y at a b equals zero okay i recall fx means df with respect to x evaluated at a b this is df partial derivative with respect to the second variable y evaluated at uh, a, B equals zero, okay? But here we have one way, okay? Local minimum or maximum for F, this means that necessarily Fx at A, B equals zero, the partial derivatives all first partial derivative equals zero. But the problem is that we have one way. We don't have the other way, okay? We'll see that if the first partial derivatives x equals zero at a b, this doesn't mean that necessarily we have a minimum or maximum, okay? But what do we have in this case? This is the question we try to answer in the next slides. So first thing, we are sure that if it's an extreme point, it's a zero of the all first partial derivatives of the function. Okay, so this is the first characterization of the local maximum and minimum of a function. But the converse is not true. Why the converse is not true? Because the converse can give us local minimum, local maximum, or other type of uh, special points, which we call a critical point. When all first partial derivatives r equals zero, this means that AB is a critical point or stationary point. What is a critical point? A critical point can be a local max, can be a local min, but it can be something else, okay? Not only extreme values. Wada, so critical point is a point where all first partial derivative of a function f are zero, or if one of these partial derivatives does not exist, this is called a critical point. So this is more general than extreme point, than minimum and uh, maximum. Okay, so again, a critical point, this is the main point, can be an extreme point, but not necessarily. There are other type of critical points, not only extreme point. So let's do a first example and then decide whether it's a maximum, a minimum or something else, okay? So, how to find the critical point of uh, this uh, function of two variables? Who has an idea? 
first you will find the derivative x and y and then not derivative. make them partial zero. derivatives first partial, yeah, partial derivatives okay good so what is dx of f so if we calculate the partial derivative with respect to x what do we obtain 2x plus 2x 0 x minus is 0 minus 2, 2 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 0 huh? so finally x. it's uh, 2x minus 2. What is dy of f? So the first one zero is 0. Plus 2y y minus zero, 0 minus 6, 6 plus 0. So 2y minus 6. Can you find the critical points? How do we find the critical points? What does it mean? It means that dxf0 and dyf is 0. Which means that 2x minus 2 is 0 and 2y minus 6 is 0. Which means that x equals 1 and uh, y equals uh, 3. So how many critical points do we have in this example for this function f? Two. Two critical Only one. points. One. One or two? One at x1, y3. So we have here this function f has one critical point at the pair one three. Okay, so here we have one couple, one pair of values x, y, lihua one three. Okay, so this Dr. is yes. Uh, if uh, x has uh, for example uh, Plus or minus one. It will be mm -hmm. two points. If uh, x is plus or minus one and y is three, means that we'll have the point one, three, and negative one, three. It's two points. It's a critical point, but we don't know yet whether it's a maximum, it's a minimum, or it's a something else. Okay? So to know it for the moment, we have we don't have a criteria to answer this, but uh, from the graph, if you see the graph here, what do you think about this point? So is it a maximum, is it a minimum, or is it uh, neither a maximum nor a minimum for the graph, from the it graph? Could be, uh, it could be a minimum. So from the graph, it uh, looks like that uh, this critical point is an absolute is an absolute minimum. Okay, from the graph graphically. Okay, we will see how to uh, prove that uh, analytically. Okay, so here, of course, what is four here? Ninja to four heavy. It's not one plus three, yeah? What is four? And the value when you oh. put the one value three is said the image of one three. It's f of one three. Okay? So if uh, you calculate here f of one three, you will have one square plus three square minus two times one minus six times three plus fourteen, and you can calculate and it's so this is z the image, okay? So here, what does it mean, an absolute minimum? It means that f of x, y is greater than or equal f of 1, 3 for all x, y in R2. So here, it's a, a polynomial function. It's defined everywhere in 
R2. So this is the meaning of absolute minimum. يعني f of x y is greater than or equal four. Okay, so this is um, the minimum value for uh, f at any point in the uh, plane in R. This is the meaning of uh, an absolute minimum. Okay, it means this is the lowest value achieved by uh, the function uh, f. So this is good. The first uh, good news is that we can, we have uh, a characterization of uh, the critical point. We can determine the uh, critical point. And then Kholna, we have an important family of points called critical points or stationary points where the first partial derivatives uh, of the function f equals zero. A critical point means that it can be a minimum value for f, it can be a maximum value of f, but it can be something else. Something else, and this is an example here. So this point in red here, it's a, a critical point. This point is a critical point. But it's neither maximum nor minimum. Leash, it's not a maximum or a minimum value. Because here we can see that if we move in this direction, the value of the function increase, okay? So moving from this direction, it will be less than the values in the neighborhood in this direction. Whereas when we move in this direction, the value of the function decrease so here the value decrease here the value increase okay so in a neighborhood it's neither a minimum nor a maximum how do we call such points we call it a saddle point شو معناها saddle point من شاطر في الانجليزي قلنا شو معناها saddle يعني سرج سرج لانه الشكل هذا شو يشبه يشبه سرج الحصان اذا النقطه هذه is neither maximum nor a minimum okay it's a saddle point okay جايه من سرج الحصان مره ثانيه قلنا لانه اذا نتحرك في الاتجاه هذا قيمه فانكشن راح تعلى لكن اذا نتحرك في الاتجاه هذا قيمتها راح تنزل okay so we cannot find a neighborhood of a the saddle point where the function is uh, the lowest value or the highest value. So here, this point zero zero is uh, not uh, an extreme point. It's uh, a saddle point. Okay. So a critical point can be minimum, can be maximum, or can be a saddle point. So another example, find the extreme values of this function fxy equal y square minus x square. Okay, so this is the graph of this uh, function. So how to find critical points? Again, who has an idea? You, we uh... Get uh, the partial derivative of uh, so x. We need to find the zeros of the partial derivatives of uh, f. So here we have two partial, two first partial derivatives since it's a function of uh, of two variables. So what is dxf? Will be uh, minus two x. Minus two x. What is dyf? 2y. 2y. So here 
this means that uh, minus 2x equals 0 and uh, 2y equals 0. So these two conditions must hold at the same time, intersection. Okay, so it means that uh, x is 0 and uh, y is uh, 0. Okay, so how many critical points do we have here? One. We have uh, one critical point uh, at uh, the point uh, zero, 0, Is it a minimum? Is it a maximum? Is it a saddle point? So we can see graphically, what do you think from the graph? From the graph, it will be a saddle. I think. From the graph, it seems a saddle point, so it's not a minimum because here we have less values, but here we have highest value. So graphically, we expect that uh, zero zero is uh, a saddle point. Okay. So it's uh, not a maximum nor a, a minimum. So here we see, for example, when we go in on direction y equals zero, we obtain negative values, whether when uh, we go to um, direction x equals zero, we obtain positive values. So uh, it's clear that uh, it's not a maximum or a minimum, but a certain point, and we can see it from the, from the graph. So this is another picture of uh, saddle points. So here in mountains, so two هنا. Then في النقطة هذه شوفوا هنا هنا تطلع لكن في الاتجاه الثاني في الاتجاه الثاني هنا بننزل. Okay. So here you see ننزل لكن في هذا الاتجاه هو بيطلع. يعني إذا عشان تكون مينيموم لازم كل الاتجاهات تصير تطلع. The good news is that we have we can say analytically we have a result to say whether it's a minimum, it's a maximum, or it's a saddle point. But we need derivative of the second order. So the first. Order partial derivative statini the critical points to characterize them we need the second order partial derivatives. So this is the second important result of this section. We have two important results: how to find the critical points and uh, how to test for a mean, a max, or a set. So uh, we have the second derivative test. What does it say? It says that if we have a critical point, means that if fx equals 0 and fy equals 0 at a, b, and if we can calculate the second derivatives of f, and it is continuous in the neighborhood of the point a, b, then we calculate this determinant, this indicator d which is fx fx second partial derivatives two times with respect to x times fyy minus fxy square so we calculate this indicator this determinant d at a b and depending on the sign of d we can decide whether we have an extreme point or a saddle point, a minimum or a, a maximum. So first case, if D is positive and FXX at AB is also positive, we have a local minimum. Now, if D is positive and FXX is negative, it will be, AB will be a local maximum. If D is negative, then we'll have a saddle point. If D is zero, we don't know. 
we cannot conclude. But uh, this is a good news that uh, we say that uh, we can analytically, easily, more or less, say, determine the nature of the critical point, characterize the critical point by discussing the sign of this uh, indicator G at the point AB, whether it is positive or negative. If it's positive, it's an extreme point. If it's negative, it's a subtle point. And if an extreme point, if FXX positive, it's minimum. If FXX is negative, it's uh, a maximum. So this is um, the main result to characterize extreme points and critical points. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see an example how to apply this. So I said determinant D because to remember it, we can just write it as a two by two matrix and calculate the determinant of this matrix. So it's a FXX FYY minus fxy squared okay so let's take this uh, example the function x4 plus y4 minus 4xy plus 1 if we see the graph of this function what do we expect how many critical points two, will we uh, have yes please so we have uh Two minimum. So we expect broken. this is a minimum. Or this ab is minimum. Absolutely. Ah? Huh? Yes. What else? And we have saddle point. And we expect this a saddle point, huh? Yes. Do we expect maximum values? Um no. No. We no. expect three critical points here. Okay. Two minimum and one subtle. Let's see whether. We can retrieve this analytically. So to find the critical points, sure as we so we find the partial derivative of x and y. First order partial derivatives. So dxf. What is dxf? It's 4x cube minus 4y. DYF. What is DYF? 4y cube. 0 plus 4y3 minus 4x plus 1. Uh, plus 0. 4x. Okay. And uh, we want uh, to determine the zeros of... Uh, these uh, equations okay so we have to solve a system of two equation with uh, two variables x uh, y how can we solve this uh, system okay okay لا في الأولى لا في الثانية. Okay. بسط على حال. So, x cube minus y equals 0 and y cube minus x equals 0. Okay. So, how to solve this system of non-linear equation? الأولى نحل على respect to the x. So, y راح تروح في الجهة الثانية. سر y. X cubed equal Y. Mm -hmm. So I'm not Y is X uh, cube. Okay. This is the first relation. Okay. Body. Okay. Well, X you say Y cube. Right. Go back. Um, the root square the cubed root. Yeah, next the cube root, silly cube root x equal y. All right, so that's how it. Okay, then the idea it's a system, so the two equation holds. Then, mumkin nakhad 
this equation and I replace y by x cube in this equation. إذا بدل ما نكتب y إذا هنا عنا equation فيها two variables ما أعرف أحلها أحاول أخلي one variable only على الأقل. Okay. So I replace y by x cube in this equation. Should see it. See it. x cube all cube minus x equals zero. So we obtain x cube all cube. Start it. X. Uh, four, to the power four, of six. X nine. You know you multiply minus x equals zero. So it's better than this equation. Well, I in the equation of order nine, like in the hands are only one unknown. The whole x the equation is the one variable. So how can we solve this equation? Degree nine. No, this is not a good idea. No, ma daqdar tqas. عامل مشترك ممكن في عنا common factor x x is so a common uh, factor okay yeah so this is this type of equation Damon recommendation take factor okay I have not had body خلاص ال x اللي برا راح تروح مع الصفر ف... This makes zero suffer. Product equal zero means x equals zero or x power eight minus one equals zero. Badi, that is okay. We have now a solution. I will have how to solve x eight minus one equals zero. So x eight equal one. Then take the eighth root. Eighth root. <تصفيق> سايب ديجري 8 ما نعرف نحلها لازم نسوي فاكتورينج كان اي فاكتور اكس 8 ماينس 1 يكول 0 اكس 8 ممكن نكتبها اكس 4 سكوير ماينس 1 سكوير يكول 0 سو ذيس از ديفرنس اوف سكويرز وين يتذكر ديفرنس اوف سكويرز كيف اي كان فاكتور ات اوكي لكن هنا از ديفرنس اوف سكويرز ذات ايدي اكس 4 Minus one, one or x uh, plus one. Can I factor more? Yeah, the, more, the first one is. And x square minus one, x square plus one, x four plus one equals zero. Can I factor more? The first one again, yes, somebody. x minus one, x plus one, x square plus one, x square. X4 plus 1 equals 0. Then show I go. Hey, now, meta had equal 0. In a cow, halas factor. Lama X equals 1. Sah? Or minus 1. Oh. X equals negative 1. Sah? Oh. Oh, what? Meta X square plus 1 is 0. And Mokan X square plus 1 equals 0. No. For real. <laughs> for real, no real solution. It can be uh, uh, imaginary complex, but no real solution. Then have you no? X4 plus 1. Mumkin uh, kun, uh, 0? No. So for X, how many solutions do we have? How many values of X do we have? The two values. Only two? Are you sure? The three values. Zero, and one. zero, one, or negative one. Okay. Lazim ji nahsab hina al y, corresponding y. Lama x is zero, al y bkam? Zero. Lama x is one, al y bkam? One. Lama x is negative one, al y bkam? Negative one. So how many critical points do we have? Three. We have, as suggested by the graph, we have 
three critical points اللي هما zero zero one one and negative one negative one you see that of course the idea is easy but the implementation is not always easy because we have equation to solve a system of equation it can be of course uh, sometimes difficult to solve but there are always tools to do it okay we can always find critical points either numerically or uh, uh, using uh, softwares numerical softwares so we can always manage this okay and fix this uh, issue واضح كيف جبنا critical points ولا لا واضح خلصنا لا باقي سكند اكس وجدنا 3 critical points قال لي قل لي is it a minimum or a saddle point or a maximum okay for each of these points we have to characterize these critical points then كيف نعرف let's take the first point case one the point zero zero هل هو مينيموم هل هو سادل بوينت هل هو ماكسيموم اذا من الصوره شو رايكم في البوينت زيرو زيرو هنا سادل وي اكسبكتد تو بي سادل بوينت كيف نعرف اللي هو سادل بوينت ولا شو تقول الثيوري؟ لازم نجيب الثيوري اناليتيكلي شو معناها سادل بوينت؟ وين سادل بوينت هير ان ذيس تيست هنا سادل بوينت كورسبوندنج تو ويتش كونفيجريشن ديتيرمنت اقل من زيرو دي از نيجاتيف وات از دي ذيس از دي سو وي هاف تو كالكوليت ذيس 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 سو بيفور So now the next step is to calculate to determine the second order partial derivatives. Okay, so now we have to calculate on fx, let's do it with fxx. Meaning, I'll tell you, I'm going to fxx, this is fx, and I derive second time with respect to x what do i obtain 12x squared uh, 12x squared now i will need f x y what is f x y it's dy of f x it's dy of 4x cubed minus 4y statini Four. Four, no. Minus four. Minus four. Minus four. Be careful. Like a minus MG. Minus four. And I fix Y. Now, F, Y, Y. We have three second order derivatives to calculate. So it's DY of F, Y. So it's DY of... 4y cube minus 4x. 12y uh, square. Uh, 12y square. So these are the three second order partial derivatives. Let's do D. So the canon for D. It's fxx times fyy minus f x y square so it's 12 x square times 12 y square minus minus 4 square okay so if you want it's 144 x square y square minus 16 
this is D. Okay, so first part, I determine the critical points. Second part, I find the expression of, uh, of D. Okay, D. So now we are ready for the last part. Corner. For the point zero zero, we calculate D at zero zero. Shorah Tatil. If you replace here, minus, uh, 16, 16. minus 16. What does it mean that D at zero zero is less than zero? So it's a uh, it's a uh, saddle. Saddle. You see. So theory and uh, graph, of course, the result coincide. What about the second critical point? Lehua, one one, sah. What is D one one? It's hundred forty four times one square times one square minus sixteen. So it's clear that uh, it's a. Uh, Above zero, so it's a maximum. No. Minimum, minimum. No. We yes. found out that it can be either. Now we use fx. X. We, it's an extreme point. We don't know maximum or minimum. No, oh, yes. So. So you see here, Narjal result. If D is posit positive, we have two options. Local minimum or local maximum. Depending on what? Of the Should sign of f x x, okay. So here, it's an extreme point. Ulazm nahsab f x x at one one. Come f x x at one one. Twelve. Twelve times one square. So it's a twelve. It's a positive. So d is positive. F x x is positive. What does it mean? Minimum. We are local case minimum. one. It's a local minimum. So one one is a local minimum for F. This is one one, and it's clear that uh, it's a, a minimum. Other point. Third point. Minus one. Minus one. The point. Negative one, negative one. If I calculate D at this point, 144, negative one square, negative one square, negative 16. So it's clear that it's a positive, sir? Yes. Positive, yani extreme point. Let me accept F, X, X at negative one, negative one. So it's 12, negative one square. 12, it's also positive. What does it mean? This means that uh, negative one, negative one is also a local minimum. For uh, F. And uh, we retrieve what we expected graphically. We have two local minimums at negative one, negative one and one, one. And one saddle point at uh, zero to zero. Okay. And that's the first partial derivative when it's zero, that your critical point. But that's D by calculating second order partial derivatives and uh, uh, using this formula. If you call critical points, the will x or y by their value and the truth is that D positive. Or the negative, you decide southern point or extreme point. If it's an extreme point, we have also two options. With the hala hadi, tahtaj the fxx sign and the tariff minimum or maximum. So, this is the strategy. If we want to solve this problem analytically, okay, by theory, calculating the derivative solvent equation and solving uh, systems of uh, several equations, okay? 
this is the ID. But in this section, in this lecture, we solved the problem theoretically. This is the solution of the optimization problem theoretically. Okay. In the next session, we'll see how to handle this numerically, how to determine algorithms which are efficient, which are fast, because, of course, in the practice, problems are so complicated. We have not only two variables, but millions of variables. So I'm going to it by hand. But it's important to understand on an easy example how it works to have idea to solve more complicated problems. In the man of them, give nahl an easy problem, we will more and more complicated problems. So we always start with the school case, okay, where we can do all by hand. Hatta nahs nifhem taatina shway ilham. In Afkar on how it works to develop uh, efficient method. So again, uh, so we found the critical points. We calculated the second derivative. We evaluated the indicator D. Nahsebha at each of the critical points. D negative saddle point. D positive fx x positive minimum, D positive, FX, X positive, also a uh, minimum.